Got our little bait. Okay, we've got our bait for the day. Let's get in. Okay, that's our sounder. We're on here. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can jam something up. Oh, busted straight off. Wow, straight off. Let's get another lure down there. Oh, thanks, man. There's a big school of bonito just come through. You might be on top of them now. I got bitten off, I got, I got one bonnie and I got busted off twice on lures. Yeah, there's a lot of them down there. Righto, okay guys, I'm Dave Austin, the sound is lit up, I'm trying to get some bonito for bait. There's no yellow tail around, have a check out that. Let's get some bait. We got one bonnie in there, might be enough for us for the day. And we're gonna just try to come up through that school, let's see if we can get something. All right, let's go. Sorry? Yeah, I got him under here as well. So we've got a few hours to fish before I start my afternoon shift. Um, we might, I'll try here for another few more minutes, see if we can get another bonnie for the video. And then uh, we'll cut that one up and we'll use them for baits or, um, yeah, we'll see if we can get some squid as well today. Maybe even some snapper. We'll see how we go. Got one, yep, oh, yep, got him. No, we on? If we on, we're, we're on, it's small, whatever it is, but it's a bait. What do we got? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a beautiful live bait size bonny. Perfect live bait size. And he just engulfed that lure. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to salvage him. He totally, he totally nailed that. Have a look. No leader or nothing. Look, wow. How we go? <laughs> but I want to put my. Well, he's not going to be a live bait, I don't think. Righto, we're going to end up cutting that one up, and. Uh, we're going to get moving in a sec. I'll, I'll do one more run on the jig. And then what we'll do is we'll go chase some snapper and some kingies. And we'll see how we go with these fillets, with these bonnie fillets. We'll try to get some squid too. These ones don't really want to hit. No, nah, no good. That's going to be our bait for the day. So pretty happy with that. We'll fill it him up. You. Okay, we're on to our first squid, which I definitely want to use as a bait. No followers. Uh, he's gonna squirt me. Uh, he's actually, it's a good live, live bait size, this one, but Keep him alive, but live we'll see if we can get another one. On the board, beautiful. Let's just go for a bit of a troll now. We'll get this bait out, we'll turn around, and let's go looking for some schools of fish and see if we can find a kingy using that strip, using that strip of bonito. Let's see if we can find them.
Righto, let's get them out. Got that circle hook in there, let's go. Not expecting too much at the moment until we come over a school of fish. We've got a pretty decent swell happening. And we've got a bonetto strip out there. So if I don't find any kingfish around, I'm gonna go head over to some deeper water and probably chase some snapper. I don't have too much longer to go because I've got um got to go to work this arbo. Okay, we've marked some bait right about now, so I've taken it out of gear. Now that we found them, what I'll also do is I'll put that, I'll put that unweighted bait out there too. Here we go. We're on. So the Bonito. So the bonito, the bonito worked on the troll. This one's probably going to go to it, so I'm just going to set that drag. Another little rat, I think. Oop. Oh, he's, he's probably busting legal. So it's good to know that we can find them. Let's give him a quick measure. That's a 66 banger, that one. So, uh, you know what, I want to, he's going in, he's going in the esky, he's a good one. Not bad for the first one, and we still got our bait. Didn't have to waste the squid either. But we've got one now, now we've got to upgrade this bad boy. All right, wow, if you can see the sound, it's lit up, and I've got my bait down there, so, need to know where I am right now. Beautiful, I know where to set my, set my lines up. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Loving it. Righto, that was fun. Let's do that again. And yeah, we got we got a mark. We've got marks. Can we get it to buckle? Oh wow! I knew it. Got to get him off the reef. We're we recording, yeah, we are. Okay. The Bonito fillets, eh? Uh, hey Siri, what's the time? He's going under the boat. Okay. 
10 o'clock, eh? 10 o'clock, guys. What did I say about the time? Look at that beautiful little rat. These, they're, they're actually, I think this one's bigger than the last one. 67 on this bad boy. You know what? I've got friends asking me to do this, I don't know what it's called, ceviche or something. Sounds like a DJ. That used to be a bit of a favorite of mine, Avicii. Anyway, some sort of Asian dish where they eat it raw or something. So let's get a couple for the mates. Let's see if we can get a bag out. But I'm happy with two. In the esky he goes. You! <laughs> Righto, guys. We've got the, uh, the elusive glass out. And we're not moving. So... We're gonna do the troll thing again, and we're gonna see if we can get a few more keepers, hopefully. Let's see how we go. These um, these Bonito fillets that I caught fresh earlier on, um, they're working well. So if we get another one or two more, then I might put that live squid out, and we'll see how we go. But let's get this strip out, let's troll that along. It's a very effective method. Look, this has been working for me it's not very complicated. It's swivel on 60 pound uh, on 60 pound liter there. So that thing is between two swivels. Pretty decent length of uh, of trace, 60 pound, 50 pound braid. It's been working so effectively for me. So I'm not going to change in a hurry. So I'll plonk this down a bit and um, we'll continue to troll like we're trolling the internet. Okay, that wasn't a funny joke, I know. All right, let's see how we go. Okay, we're marking them now. The glass out. The elusive glass out, let's go. We're on them. Are we gonna get him? Go back around them. Are we gonna find them again? We got two with the one bait. So this Benito, these Benito, these Benito are a pretty decent bait. There we go. We've got him again. It doesn't feel that big, this one. This is only, this is small, this one. Have I even got him? There's another kingy. Oh, he's just woken up. Let's just... This one's undersized for short. Sure. Right. 
three in the boat. Righto. He's definitely under. So we'll get him off and get another one. Righto. We can do a release on this one now. <laughs> Let's see how he goes. Let's go on this side. Off he goes. So this, this is a pretty effective method for me. Like I've, in the last, I think I've been chasing these sort of at, at about nine or 10 cracks at them. And I've caught like way over 70 fish, 70 or 80 fish. Admittedly, they're not monsters, but you know, there are guys that go and chase monsters that go out all day and catch nothing. So I'm not very far out from outside port hacking here. So I'll, I'll basically take it and be happy with what I can get. But um, there will be videos where I do chase some bigger units as well. We are now going to change it up. We're gonna put down this squid live. And what we'll do here is, if I can get a free line, it's gonna go underneath, through the mantle, Okay, so that's our live bait, one hook, right, and we're gonna drop him down nice and slow. He's gonna go, he's gonna go down nice and slow. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my day, or another hour or so, trolling around for something bigger. See if we can get a bigger one to come and find this guy. I'm getting very, very tired here. The sun's been out, supposed to be overcast, but it's been sunny all morning. It was glassed out. Now there's a slight breeze picking up. So yeah, let's go for it. Let's see how we go. Righto guys, we, we did about half an hour of trolling with that live squid and it's still alive, hasn't been touched. Now, the important thing is, what do you learn from that? Just because someone says, oh yeah, put on a live squid, doesn't guarantee you that you're gonna catch a bigger fish. Like, we didn't even get any small ones tapping that one and everything just seems to have shut down after we got those initial three kings. So um, I kind of guessed it'd be a mid-morning bite. We got them, we started getting them at 10 o'clock. I'm fishing till midday today. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do one or two quick drifts. I'm gonna leave it down there and just drift with it and see if that makes a bit of a difference. And whilst I'm drifting with that live squid out there, we'll, we'll try to catch a couple more calamari as well. So this is a bit of a test drift at the moment because the wind's just picked up. So let's see what happens. Uh, in regards to that. Okay, I don't really like this drift. All right, what we'll do is we'll go reposition ourselves for this drift, and I'll see you on the other end of this. We've repositioned there, so that should give us a good drift. Get these squid jigs out. Chase a couple of calamari. You will also notice that I don't really use a net. And I feel like giving the fish a chance. If they make it into the boat, I've earned it. 
I feel like if I use a net, a lot of the time, I feel like I'm cheating. So I like to even up the score a little bit, make it a bit more of a fair fight. All right. Oh, we're on a good squid, yep. That's what we want. Now I don't feel so guilty leaving that one on the hook, if we land this one, that is. <laughs> Sitting bottom. Purple and pink does it again. No followers down there. Let's get him in the boat. Yeah, baby. There we go. Into the live well he goes. Keep him fresh for a little bit longer. You! I knew this would be a better drift. And now we're gonna pay dividends, hopefully. That purple and pink eggy head jig, the purple X, Purple base, purple cloth, pink on the top, with a tribe pattern. Been delivering very well for me lately. Perfect drift. Okay, let's keep going. I don't want to get that third rod out in case, oh, we're on to another one. Ha ha ha, Davey boy. I was hoping that was a squid, but it's not. Okay. I love it when a plan comes together. Any followers down there? Okay, let's get this guy. Oh, oh. That's what we're rocking with, guys. Yes. <sighs> Two calamaris. And we've got that one on the hook still. If it doesn't get eaten, we'll be taking three home. <laughs> oh, and we're on to another one. Catching calamari, three in the one drift. Uh, what's this one? That one's a, that one's a super snag. All right. Catching calamari, cat, cat. And this one had kelp on it as well. Yes. This one keeps snagging. The squid have just turned on. Better check for kelp on this one, which I think it does have. What a good drift. The importance of the drift, eh? Pink and orange eggy head jigs are working at the moment. Three squid in that drift. I don't think we'll get any more squid here. This might be the end of the, 
the end of the run for us. We'll have to go back and do another drift. Never give up, guys. Never give up. We might not have meter plus kingfish, but calamari eat a lot better. Something just jumped over there. I want to check this bait because I don't want it to get smashed by a leather jacket. No, he's fine. He's kicking. I think that's the end of the run for the squid. We'll have to go back and do another drift. That was a very productive drift. Let's get a couple more squid. Take home a feed. Uh, remember what I said about these, you know, chasing the bigger kingfish. When someone says there's, there might be bigger ones down, they put a livey down. If you don't want to waste one, we've, we've been trolling that one or we've had it down there for about an hour now. And it, just that last drift, it looked like something might have been toying with it. But, you know, you don't really want to waste a whole calamari when you can cut that calamari up into 10 baits. If all you're going to get are those smaller ones. So, you know, we're, all, we're always learning. One day I'll, I'll give up a whole session just to chase one big one. But generally speaking... You'll have a lot more quieter days than days where you're actually getting those big ones out of Sydney. You can go offshore and stuff, but as you can see, I'm not too far outside. We've got three in the live well. And we've got another squid here as well. See, look. See, guys? Look at that. Here's a good squid, this one too. Feels like a decent one. So that's going to be four in the live well, five on the bait. It actually started off very, very slow this morning. we got there. Okay, let's get him up. He's a good squid, this one. Check him out, baby. Check him out. You've got to get that photo. And just remember, guys, <laughs> we got three kingies, two keepers and one undersized kingfish on Benito fillets. I've got a live squid there. We haven't got nothing. Right? Things aren't always going to turn out how people say they're supposed to turn it on videos, you know? But when it does, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic feeling, I'm sure. Anyway, for me, I'm all about, I'm all about the consistency. This drift has given us one calamari. The last drift gave us three calamari. I reckon six calamari is plenty for us. So what does that give us? Four. We've got four in there. One, that's five. And that should give us one more. One or two more I'll be happy with because we're not sure if we're going to lose that one. If that rod buckles, it's going to be, hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you like what you're watching, follow me on TikTok. Um, 
subscribe to this YouTube channel. We've got to finish by midday. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 11.41 a.m. One or two more squid, come on. And still the live squid hasn't been hit. Oh, I think that was just the bottom. Yep. Ah, uh, we might have, yes. We've got a squid on here. Feels like a decent squid too. All right. Check out this mountainous wave coming. We've got another squid. Oh, what's going on here? Wow, look at that squid. Let's get him over. He's a nice, oh, he's a good squid. Perfect eating size. Let me touch the back of that screen. There we go. That's six squid today. Perfect day. Yeah, baby. Okay, guys. So basically, we're gonna uh, write this off. One hour, or over an hour that squid was out, and nothing hit it. So, it's going in the live well. We're going to wrap this day right up, right now. So, thanks for watching, and you'll see some footage of the catch very, very soon. Righto, legends, we saw how Benito worked today on these kingfish. Once again, better than the squid. We had a whole live squid, didn't get touched. So, not everything works the way that people say it all the time. It does work on occasions, however, so there's always an exception to the rule. But today, live squid did not do any good for us. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And any questions, comments down below. And I appreciate all your support, guys. All right, let's have a look. Okay. Pretty good catch. Pretty good catch. What do we got there? Six calamari. And uh, basically what I call these days is a uh, not complaining day. All right, guys, tight lines. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Bye-bye.